What's up everybody, Toby Guy here back with Facebook Friday. Take your questions on Facebook, answer them in a video. You guys seem to love it. My response on Facebook is a lot. We take the best 10 of the day, answer them in a video format, and that's what we're doing right here. I do want to let you guys know I am streaming tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time with Tubby Emu. We're going to be on the search for CM Punk, so you definitely do not want to miss this one. Use the hashtag Where's Phil Brooks if you want to get in the conversation on Twitter. Like I said, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's 8 Eastern, 7, 5 Pacific, I think. I don't know. I think it did it right. But you guys can figure it out. 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Now let's get right into Facebook Friday. First question coming in, do you think Triple H in his prime could beat Roman Reigns in a one-on-one -on -one match? This is like saying if we're like talking about fantasy and wrestling is like legit and stuff and things. I think it would be the other way around. Do you think Roman Reigns could beat Triple H in his prime? Eh, I don't know. I really definitely do love Roman Reigns now and Triple H was great when he was at his prime. I think his prime was when he was champion with Stephanie and stuff and they were the McMahon Helmsley things and whatever. They had awesome stuff going on there. Uh, heel Triple H at his prime where he stole a victory? Probably not. I don't think Roman Reigns would win. But if they went right now, Roman Reigns is going to get the victory. What modes would you like to see in WWE 2K15? All I want out of that game is I want something that's better than 30 years of WrestleMania. Something that's better than the Attic Era. That's all I really want. I want a really good story mode. I'd love a road to the show kind of mode thing I don't know NXT thing where you, you work your way all the way up to the main roster I know it's been done before but anything just really anything that's different than Road to Wrestlemania even that was good but anything that's different than 30 years of Wrestlemania and the Attitude Area I couldn't remember what it's called but yeah so anything different than that is fine because I'm just not a fan of those modes who do you think is going to be called up to the main roster from NXT next. I think the guy that has the most potential to succeed on the main roster is Sami Zayn. He has his seal of approval from Triple H. I hope he's the next guy to go up. I think Tyler Breeze is going to get his character worked out. I love Tyler Breeze's character. I love what he's doing now. I think it's great. Uh, but I think Sami Zayn might be the guy that's almost ready. The fans love him. He's such a good face. It's so fun to watch him. He's a really good dancer if you didn't watch NXT. But, uh, but Sami Zayn, I think he's the guy that's ready to be up on the roster. But will he be called up next? I don't know. That's a tough one. But I think Sami Zayn, he's ready. Speaking of NXT, what is your opinion of NXT TakeOver? And what match do you think stole the show? I liked NXT TakeOver. I thought it was good. I don't think it was as good as Arrival because Arrival just sold NXT on me. But this was definitely a good way to bring it back to where I really do enjoy it. I mean, I think NXT was getting kind of stale for a while. But now after TakeOver, I really got into it again. I was a huge fan of Natalya versus Charlotte. I thought that title for the NXT Divas Championship. I thought that one stole it. The one for the for the women's title. The ladies title as Regal called it. I thought that was great. I liked it. I thought it was great. I also like anything with Adrian Neville. He's always fun to watch him flip around in the ring when he reversed Hurricane Rana into a front flip. I thought that was amazing. But honestly, I like the Charlotte Natalia match. If you had a chance to manage any superstar past, present, or future, I guess... I don't know why I said future, because probably not future. Who would it be? See, this is a crazy question because I don't have one guy that I would want to manage. I just think it would be cool to manage somebody that I could get over. I think I would pick a guy that's not over right now and try and get him over. That's the way that I would do it. I think it would be fun. You know, obviously it would be fun to work with guys like The Undertaker or Stone Cold Steve Austin or something like that effect, even The Rock. You know, something like that. But I think just managing a guy that's not over and getting him over would be the most rewarding, most satisfying thing ever. I think that's why I really like managers and why I would really want to be a manager someday. I think that it's just so much fun trying to make a star. And if you could help some guy who's maybe not that good on the microphone get over, then you do your job. Would you ever want to see a TNA versus WWE Federation battle? You know, if you would have asked me this question 10 years ago, maybe, I don't know, is that too long? Maybe five years ago, even five years ago, I would say yes, I would want to see a TNA versus WWE battle. 
Now, not so much. I don't think I really even pick guys that would battle anymore. Remember, back in the day, I'd be like, AJ Styles versus anybody would be great, but he's not even in TNA anymore. So it's one of those things where it's like Christopher Daniels, Kazarian, they would be great to go up against anybody in WWE, but they're not in TNA anymore. Do you want to have like Magnus versus Orton? I don't think so. Would you want MVP and somebody, Kennedy and somebody? Both? Look, all the guys that are big names in TNA are former WWE names. You know, I mean, with Eric Young, you could have Eric Young and Daniel Bryan, I guess. But this just isn't the thing that I want to see anymore. I think it would be cool, maybe, to see something. Yeah, even then, I was thinking maybe do like a super show together. It just it doesn't even sound intriguing to me. Honestly, if it was up to me, I would rather see a New Japan WWE battle going on. I wouldn't. You know, TNA just doesn't have the appeal to me anymore. They don't have the the, the talent that's gonna draw me to it I mean Kenny King is great what are you gonna do Kenny King versus Kofi Kingston the Wolves versus Rhodes brothers I don't know I don't think there's enough potential right there with the WWE TNA thing I mean it would probably do all right but I don't see it having any mass appeal to be honest Tony are you excited for five-star wrestling and if you are what about it thrilled you well, let's talk about 5 Star Wrestling. If you don't know, it is an upcoming PS3, what they call marketplace sort of game. I don't know, indie game? I don't know what they call it on the PSN game downloadable thing. So there's that. I'm not going to get the game because I don't have a PS3 and it's not going to be coming out for PS4. I do like supporting independent wrestling games. Honestly, if there's any wrestling games out there, I like to support them. I want to make sure that they're good before I support them. I'm going to throw my money at Fire Pro Wrestling. That that action... What was that? Action Arcade Wrestling. Action Arcade Wrestling 2. Uh, but the Fire Pro Wrestling on the Xbox 360, I threw my money at. And that was not a good game. It just wasn't. And I was hoping it was going to be good, but it's not. But anything that's wrestling, I end up buying because I like wrestling games so five star wrestling I hope it succeeds because we need more wrestling games out there and you know what if this game succeeded then we could see something maybe on the next gen consoles PS4 Xbox one I think it'd be good like I said I'm all for games that are going to be wrestling related no matter what they are I just want them to succeed let's hope that five star wrestling does succeed do you think that Daniel Bryan will surrender the title? That's a tough question because Daniel Bryan's got to surrender the title or his wife is going to be fired. Maybe she'll be fired. Maybe she wants time off TV. That could be a thing. But I think Daniel Bryan will turn the title over and then they'll make that underdog story again. Like I said, the most intriguing part about Daniel Bryan is when he's an underdog fighting for that title. So if they can do it all over again, it'll be great. You know, he surrenders the title. He's got to fight his way back. You know, Triple H is like, he comes back, he's like, Triple H's like, sorry, there's already guys and there's there's a huge line of guys ready to get up there. You got to start at the bottom of the barrel, make him open shows, you know, fight his way, claw him, scratch, you know, put him against like 3MB or something, you know, something that makes him work his way all the way back up to the top. I think that's a great story. I think it, it, it'll pay off and it'll lead up to WrestleMania. I don't know what they're going to do at Mania, but you know what I'm saying? Like, if he's an underdog, I think that's the best route to go with Daniel Bryan. Tony, do you believe Magnum Pro could rival New Japan, WWE, TNA, ROH, etc.? And if so, what steps do you think they should take to accomplish it? Honestly, okay, let me, let me start over. If you don't know what Magnum Pro is, you can go to magnum-pro.com. Uh, that is the local wrestling promotion in my area. I'm a part of it, and there's a lot of great, awesome things going on. I'm actually the backstage interviewer, I do web content, I produce the website, I build all the posters, I make the posters, build them in uh, Photoshop, whatever you want to call it. I help make the product a better product and I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. Honestly, I get the vibe about Magna Pro that it is on the cusp of being one of the top 10 independent wrestling promotions around. Uh, and the reason being is because they have the production value, they, they recently just bought a U-Haul so they have their own transportation truck and they have the guardrails they have lighting they have a ring they have a setup that's legit web content with video on demand i think we're going to start doing a uh we're going to try to do live events like a pay-per-view i pay-per-view but we'll probably do one for free so honestly i think they are on the cusp of something great i don't want to go the cliche thing and say they are 
they give me that ECW vibe, bro, but they honestly give me something. You know, like, I went to shows before, and there are shows around here, and just something about Magnum Pro that makes me excited. I don't know. I like the matches. I like the roster. I like the story. I like... I just feel like we're we're on the cusp of something great, and hopefully it'll take off, and we'll be uh, in top ten by the end of the year. Our last and final question of the day, and this is your question of the day. So make sure you answer that in the comments section below. If you could be a WWE writer, who would you have feuding? This is a fun question, so you can go anywhere with this that you want. I'm going to pick one feud that I want to see on the main roster, on the main show. Sami Zayn, Cesaro, that's what I want to see. Because those guys had awesome stuff in NXT. I think they could have great matches together. Even Cesaro, Daniel Bryan, I'm ready for that. I want something with really, really great independent style wrestling. You get Sami Zayn, you get Daniel Bryan, you get Cesaro, even... I don't know. Dolph Ziggler, get him in there too. But I just think there's a lot of matches that really can focus on wrestling, and that's what I want to see. I would love to see Daniel Bryan Cesaro right now. Paul Heyman in the mix for the Intercontinental and the WWE Championship. Combine them. Like I said, Warrior Hogan. This is your modern-day Warrior Hogan. You get uh, Daniel Bryan being Hogan, I guess. And I don't know. It doesn't make sense. But you know what I mean? Like, just Intercontinental versus WWE title. That's what I want to see. So let me know in the comment section below what fantasy feud, I guess. Is that what the... Thing we're trying to say yeah what fantasy feed you'd like to see in the comment section below hit that like button if you did enjoy this again 7 p.m central standard time we're gonna be live streaming come on over to my youtube channel tony pizza guy frag out